Lakota Three Horse Goose Neck uh, here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, I don't know if there's an official name for this product. It's built to charger specs though, so it's probably what I'm going to refer to it as a few times. Charger being uh, Lakota's most popular living quarter line. This is not a living quarter, this is just a dresser. But what's cool is you actually get to see how it's put together. You get to see what's under the skin. So if you are looking for living quarter, you might want to watch this video real quick and learn some construction stuff of what's under those nice finished wall panels. This is, uh, I'm looking at 6.9 or 7 wide. Call to verify that. I can't tell which just by a glance. I believe it's 6.9, but double check me. 7, 6 tall, all aluminum. Uh, two year bumper to bumper, five year structural warranty. We've got windows that open all over the place for ventilation. You see that all three horses get their own little drop down here. And uh, the extruded side paneling on the side is something I like to talk about because if you've got your horse tied down and they get a little you know, buck wild here, they, they're not gonna bust up and dent up your trailer. It's gonna keep looking good. Now, you, it's hard to see, but if you follow this rivet line, that rivet line is there because that's where a wall stud is for the coach. Uh, this tie down out here connects right to the hardcore structure of the coach. A lot of manufacturers will just put uh, a little aluminum block in the wall to anchor into. This is tied directly into the studs of the wall. It's among the heavy dutiest of construction I've ever seen. Now, you're going to see bits of cardboard in here. That's actually put in by Lakota so that when people come to look at this, they don't leave their footprints all over your trailer. Uh, three horse removable um, saddle boss saddle rack. So that can go in the rear tack, that can come up here in the dresser. And uh, the big thing I want to show you in the dresser is the little details. You've got little stuff like this. They give you a little, you know, foot plant to climb yourself up there. But they also have a little kick down step here so it's easier to get into. But, again, devil's in the details. So they give you a foot uh, plant there to climb up. They give you a handle to climb up. And then, look at all the extra cross member construction in here. Uh, there's really not a whole lot else like this on the market, and especially not at this price point. We carry some very big name brand trailers here. We have Sundowners and Bisons and Lakotas and a few others, but I have a hard time finding something I feel is built better than this. And it's maybe based on opinion, and everybody knows one guy that maybe had a bad experience, but man, I don't know a lot of people that aren't happy with their Lakotas, and for good reason. They're built like a tank. And again, little detail stuff. Notice the little lip here on this gooseneck so that your, you know, your stuff up front doesn't fall out. That's just, it's just smart construction the way they put this together. Like they have um, double headers, you know, up here so that you have more reinforcement uh, in this bulkhead wall. Everything is four-sided welded. You know, for a weld to break here, if that weld breaks, you've got bigger problems. That means you've probably had something pretty catastrophic occur. I think I mentioned the drop down windows. If not, there you go. Um, as we come around the back side here, I like to point out the uh, LED lights. So you've got all LED tail lights here. You're not going to have to worry about lights going out. This is a swinging barn door setup versus a ramp. Um, extruded interlocking uh, plank flooring. So this has basically heavy duty cattle flooring. Um, if you can overload this floor, I'll shake your hand. That's a pretty impressive feat. Uh, saddle closet back here. Your rear tack is all aluminum, fully collapsible. Could be removed if you were so inclined. Um, the uh, two dividers, kind of the same thing. They, they could be removed. A little finagling, but it's not a big deal. It's not like you're going to scar the trailer doing it. Um, the, uh, you see both the dividers here are padded. And, uh, you know, this is just an awesome, good soldier, workhorse trailer. If I guess if you're looking for the last gooseneck you ever want to buy, I highly recommend you seriously consider this one. Uh, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, let's horse trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails.